Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans, and today's video is a full guide for beginners of, of how you can use WhatsApp. So if you are new to WhatsApp, then keep on watching. Before we start today's video, let me tell you about a competition that we are doing here at Wondershare Mobile Trans. It is to get yourself and potentially win a Galaxy Tab A7. And all you have to do is go over to our Facebook page and share a photo of you from last Christmas. And then you might be able to win one of those Galaxy Tab A7s. WhatsApp is a messaging service that was acquired by Facebook a couple of years ago and you can send messages, photos, voice, you can do anything and send that over to your friends. And WhatsApp is super popular with 1.5 billion monthly active users. So without further ado, let's dive in. The first thing that you'll need to do if you haven't already is go to your App Store or Google Play Store and download and install WhatsApp and then open it directly on your phone. On WhatsApp, you don't have to have an account. Just click agree to the terms and conditions, enter your phone number, and then the code that you get sent via SMS. Then just enter your name and then pick a nice profile photo and congratulations, you have set up your account successfully. It is as easy as that. And now you can go and chat with your friends anywhere in the world. Let's talk now about that main interface. And under the bottom of the main interface, you will see a few different buttons that say status, calls, camera, chat, and settings. The most common feature is to use the chat feature. And all you have to do is just tap on that chat button and then click start messaging. In the contacts list, you can select who you want to send messages to, or you can search their name on the top of that search bar. You can also tap new contacts to add a new friend. If you want to create a new group, click on new group and select the members there. Once you enter the chat window, you can send files, photos, videos, etc. by clicking that plus icon. You have the type bar in the middle of the screen. Just type anything you want to send and tap that send button. On the right side is that sticker button, but you need to add some stickers before you can start sending them. WhatsApp gives you quite a big choice of stickers, so you can just add the ones that you like to your WhatsApp. The last button is the microphone button, which allows you to send voice messages to your friends. All you have to do here is just press it and say what you want to say and then let go of that button. Also, you can video chat with your friends. Just tap the corresponding button in the top right corner. If you press the phone button, you will then call the person immediately. One of the next really common features is that you can add a status to WhatsApp. In here, you can show your moment to your friends and the content will then disappear after 24 hours, just like it does on Instagram or Snapchat. You can use a photo or text to send to your status and anyone that then taps on your avatar will see that status. If you want to hear a little bit more about how you can put statuses on your WhatsApp, then let me know in the comments below and I will talk about that in a whole different video. And the last thing is the settings. So if you want to change anything on your account, for example, you want to change your name, then all you have to do is tap on the settings menu in the bottom right hand corner there. That is it, a guide for beginners if you've never used WhatsApp before. And if you want to know a little bit more, then don't forget to watch our videos on some tips and tricks using WhatsApp. The link to that will be in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and you like it, then why not give it a thumbs up and then also click on that subscribe button as well. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video.